I think we're just going to go continue. I mean, we'll, we'll break, but I mean, we're not going to take a set break. So we're going to do one, uh, do one roll through the music tonight? No separation. Tonight. No separation. No separation. Okay. So yeah, we're very pleased. Carl Evangelista has uh, composed this this, uh, this music and um, has uh, already recorded a lot of it. But I'll let him talk about that. So we have three Cabin here. Uh, it's called Apura. How do you pronounce it? Apura. Apura. I'll make some of it. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to play this as a continuous piece. I think we're going to just hit to start. I'll talk a little bit about the music in between. But thank you for being here. I'm going to announce the band really quickly. This is Francis Wong on saxophone. Oh, yeah. Use the microphone for the script. Ah, right. My apologies. Just reintroducing the band. This is Francis Wong on saxophone. Thank you. This is Lisa Metzakappa on bass and Donald Robinson on drums.
So now that we're kind of here and established, is this microphone on? Test, test. What's on? Okay, I'm talking. I feel like I'm. My ears need to recalibrate. So this is um. Uh, we're kind of a. Uh, we're, we're doing a, a quick airing of the piece Apura that I composed. This is a really long-winded and convoluted uh, genesis. We're going to be playing everything as a single. This entire suite is sort of a single performance, so you don't have to worry about you know any unnecessary wait time. Let me put this out there. So this piece was originally conceived back in 2018, and I had the good fortune of performing with one of my heroes, uh, recording with one of my heroes, this guy named um, Louis Moholo Moholo, great South African drummer, um, and a good friend, a couple other people, the innovative saxophonist Trevor Watts, piano player Alexander Hawkins, a virtuoso. So we're out in England, and I'm speaking to Louis on a break, and he's like, man, you're from California. And he's like, I'd love to come to California. And I'm like, there's no reason Louis should not come to California. So I spent two years trying to raise the funding, assemble the visa, et cetera, et cetera, to bring Lewis out here. And then COVID happened. Um, this project, I want to explain the concept of this project, because if you just listen to it, you're, you might, without a concept of the background, you might just think, well, this is free jazz. Apura is rough, is Tagalog, it roughly translates to very urgent. Very urgent was the name of Lewis's very first record with the Blue Notes. Uh, this was Chris McGregor's ensemble. Um, they basically were an anti-apartheid conglomerate of musicians. Everyone except for Lewis died before the end of apartheid in South Africa. Um, if you have an opportunity to check out this record, you should, because it's a very deep story and it's profound, uh, meaningful, and powerful music. So Lewis couldn't get out here. And so I spoke to his friend, the great Andrew Cyril, and um, we, basic long story short, Andrew wound up doing this gig. But this project was canceled and rescheduled, I think, maybe six times. Which is, if you've worked in creative music, as I know many people in this room have, you know that if a project falls apart twice, it's pretty bad. Six times is a lot. And uh, every time I play this music, and this is really only the second time we've performed this music, I'm just glad to have the opportunity to just sit here and kind of kick it with these guys. Every time we have the opportunity to perform this music, I'm thankful for it. I'm reminded of the fact that a music of purpose, creative music, whatever you want to call it, is exigent. It is music that needs to happen in spite of circumstances, and every opportunity you have to be in the room with it is a privilege. doesn't necessarily matter who's playing it. It's more the intention behind the music. The music is very urgent. And so I'd like to use this opportunity um, to procure a few dislikes on the YouTube stream. <laughs> and um, I just want to point out that um, there is an election. This is, the, this is one of the principal reasons I'm excited to be here tonight. There is an election on Tuesday. If you have not yet cast your vote remotely or whatever, go do it. In California, um, we have a series of very important measures, a series of very important elections that you should strongly consider, including Proposition 1, which is basically our, rep our referendum on reproductive freedom in this state. Please use this opportunity and my, um, uh, my waylaying you in the midst of this free jazz concert with politics, which is like, that's redundant, right? Please use this opportunity to consider your responsibility to um, uh, to your your fellow your fellow people, just as people like Lewis have had a responsibility to this music, and just as everyone on the stage has a responsibility to this music, so I thank you for being here on this very rainy night, for braving the trek out here for the people who are here in person, the people who are tuning in online. Thank you for joining us as well, and um, uh, let's see if we can kind of generate some some heat as this progresses. So thank you.
I'd like to make a couple points, because you might be trying to figure out what the connection is. How is this Filipino music, um, outside of the fact that I am a Filipino American? A lot of these melodies, the motives were called from a series of Filipino folk songs I deconstructed and rearranged. So that's what it is. Uh, my, my, my parents, who I think are here, I recognize their bits and pieces of Ilo Ilong Ban Lako um, uh, in there. So that's really what it is. I took folk melodies and I tried to reconstruct them into something that's completely tangential to whatever's happening. I, I want to give a shout out to two special people. Number one is the great Jimmy Lyons, saxophone player Jimmy Lyons. The first half of this concert, which we just heard, was loosely structured after his record, Other Afternoons. Absolute cheat sheet type situation. That can happen in free jazz. <laughs> Second person I'd like, to, um, I'd like to acknowledge is my son, who was born on June 8th. Named him Malcolm Lewis Scampavi Evangelista. <laughs> He's this little brown kid, and I named him after Malcolm X and Lewis Moholo. <laughs> That's what it is. So anyway, this music's for him. This is the second half of the concert now. Um, the, la the last couple pieces were just a series of just temporal, um, you know, Tagalog nouns. So Apuro one was called Ngayon and Kahapon, um, which basically it's like now and um, yesterday. Then um, Apuro two Segena, which is kind of like let's go, then Bukas, talking about tomorrow. This is um, Apuro three Sang Bagsak. It's a reference to um, uh, the unity clap that was utilized in the midst of the United Farm Workers sort of struggle um, not, qu not too long ago. Francis and I both have ties to SFSU, so it's a pretty pointed, it's a pretty pointed um, uh, remark to make. So the song bugs suck, um, uh, one down, which is to say um, uh, one day in the fields is down also. Um, if one falls, we all fall, so to speak. So here we go.
Thank you very much. We've got a couple more for you. Thanks again to Eric for having us at Burden Beckett. Please um, uh, come back here. There's, al there al there's always fantastic music here throughout the week weekends. Eric will talk more about it. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's happening on Thursday night? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> fantastic. Well, there you go. Please, um, uh, Saturdays are pretty good too. This is a this is a free jazz pro tip. Use your gigs to plug your next gigs. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. You're All right. It's always nice to be invited. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You're participants in the art. This is um this is up at a four. This is called Santo.
Thanks so much for coming out, everyone. This is, um, I can't say en enough kind things about the fantastic people on stage with me today. This is Francis Wong on saxophone. <laughs> Francis gave me my first gig in the area, so this is a trip for both of us, like every, every, every year, every year that, that accumulates. We're like, how is this still happening? But thank you, Francis. This is the great Lisa Metzikappa. If you look up hustle in the jazz dictionary, which is most definitely a thing that exists, you'll see a photo of Lisa. <laughs> and joining us for the first time here, I'm a tremendous fan. This is the great Donald Robinson on drums. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. 
Before we perform our last piece, I just want to point out I've had the good fortune, and I'm not making an official announcement yet, this, an iteration of this project is returning next year. So I'm very happy we're going to be doing new music, new music and new music in, in, in every sense of the word. So stay honest, um, do your best. These are just all, I, this is just a, like a, like a sequence of words that you'll find in a poster on the side of um, like, a, like a Silicon Valley office. Be honest, do your best, never give up, hang in there, baby. <laughs> but seriously, this is a fraught time in history. Do what you can, do what, w what is within your means to do to ensure the livelihood of your people. I have a son now. The minute my son was born, my first thought, like the week after, I'm like, oh, I can't die. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gotta raise my kid. So, I mean, maybe we all, maybe we all survive. So this is some, um, uh, this is Apura 5, this is Senabi Mopa, this basically means you said it. Thank you. 
Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Burton Beckett. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Francis Swong, Lisa Metzakappa, Donald Robinson, and Carl Evangelista. Thank you. Yeah. CDs for sale if you want some. Yes, there is a gorgeous CD, and it sounds gorgeous, and it looks gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Lu so Louis Mahalo Maho is on the CD, correct? Yeah, we have and Trevor record. Watts. This ensemble has a record coming out on Astral Spirits next year. This was a previous one with Louis. All right. And so there will be another iteration of the band when? Um, it should be coming out May next year. All right. So we're very pleased that you all came out for this. We're very honored to have this music. We're very amazed that uh, people know how to play music like this. <laughs> You know, it's not the mere mortals of the world here. <laughs> these are these are the immortals. So yeah, so thanks for being here. Come back time and time again. Um, tomorrow is a whole different thing. It's a student combo from Urban High. You'll hear, take the A train, I bet. And uh, actually, can we have A train as a no encore? No. But actually, I think there's time for them to to redo the set. You want to do the set again? No. I'm just kidding. Thank you all very much. And then. On Thursday, Lisa indeed will be back on the stage. She doesn't really have to leave if she doesn't want to. You could stick around for a week, you know. You know, she's got a lot of books to catch up on. <laughs> so, yeah, so Chris Jonas is uh, coming out of Arizona, I think. Arizona? That's the same place to me. <laughs> you know, I, I really can't tell. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, that was a charming thought. Um, so, yeah, with Lisa and, and Jason Levis on... on uh, on drums, and uh, a friend from up the street, Gene uh, Rocchio, came in the other day and said, Chris Jonas, I taught him third grade in Newport Beach. <laughs> and then 15 years later, I went and I, I was hearing this, uh, th there was this gamelan music, and here was this kid. I was like, that's that kid. <laughs> uh, I don't know where that was. And so she's coming down, so you should too. So that is Thursday night. And then Friday, we have Domingo uh, Ballanton, um, who's got a nice little R&B thing, Domingo and Friends. Uh, if you read the Harlem of the West book, you'll see stuff about Sugar Pie to DeSanto talking about her brother and his band, D Domingo and Friends. And so they were all Etta James, Sugar Pie to DeSanto, and Domingo. So they will be, he will be playing next Friday. And then... The day after that, there's music, and the day after that, there's music, and it goes on and on and on, and um, and uh, yeah. So keep coming back. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Carl. Thank you for the music. All right. And Angie for uh, pumping it out into the world, so you can go home and hear it once again, and again in the morning with your coffee, and as as often as you like, and uh, send your friends in Prague a message that they should check it out. Okay? <laughs> it's already up there, I think. All right. Okay. Once again, buy the CD. Carl's got him. All right. Don Robinson on drums. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa Mezzacapa on bass. And Francis Wong on saxophone. All right. Thank you.